In this video, I am going to explain the logarithmic test of convergence and divergence of an infinite series. The statement is the series sigma u n is convergent if limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than 1 and divergent if limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than 1. Now let us prove. So first we let sigma v n is equal to sigma 1 upon n is to the power p which is convergent if p is greater than 1 and divergent divergent if p is less than or equal to 1 by p series test. Now case 1 if p is greater than 1 then sigma u n sigma v n is convergent then by comparison comparison of ratios test sigma u n is convergent sigma u n is convergent if u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than v n upon v n plus 1 for all n belongs to n. It implies that u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than 1 upon n is to the power p upon 1 upon n plus 1 raised to the power p or u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than n plus 1 raised to the power p upon n raised to the power p or u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than n plus 1 upon n whole raised to the power p because n plus 1 and n both have the same power so we may write it as n plus 1 upon n whole raised to the power p or u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than splitting these these two terms dividing n by these two terms separately we have 1 plus 1 upon n whole raised to the power p. It implies that taking log on both sides we have log u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than log 1 plus 1 upon n whole raised to the power p. Now by logarithmic property this p goes here in the coefficient. So it implies that log u n upon 
u n plus 1 is greater than p log 1 plus 1 upon n. Now multiplying both sides by n we have it implies that n log u suffix n upon u suffix n plus 1 is greater than n p log 1 plus 1 over n. So, it implies that n log u n over u suffix n plus 1 is greater than here p and take this n in the power of 1 plus 1 upon n using logarithmic property because n is also a coefficient of log. So, log 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power n. Make it equation number 1. So, it implies that now taking limit n tends to infinity on both sides we have limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than limit n tends to infinity p log 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power n. Now since limit n tends to infinity log 1 plus 1 over n raised to the power n is an standard limit whose numerical value is log e. And so, and the log e is equal to 1. So, it implies that it implies that limit n tends to infinity n log u suffix n over u suffix n plus 1 is greater than p. And since p is greater than 1 for which sigma v n is convergent Thus, sigma u n is convergent if limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than 1. Now, let us take case number case 2. So, in case 2, let p is less than or equal to 1, then auxiliary series sigma v n, which we have assumed as sigma, 1 upon n raised to the power p is divergent if p is less than is divergent by p series test. By p series test if p is less than or equal to 1 then sigma 1 upon n raised to the power p is divergent. So, by comparison of ratio test u n sigma u n is divergent if u n upon u n plus 1 is less than v n upon v n plus 1. It implies that u suffix n upon u n plus 1 
is less than n plus 1 raised to the power p upon n raised to the power p, it implies that u n upon u n plus 1 is less than n plus 1 upon n whole raised to the power p, it implies that u suffix n over u suffix n plus 1 is less than, we may split them up 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power p. So, it implies that log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than p log 1 plus 1 upon n and in the same way as we have done in the case 1, multiplying both sides by n we have n log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than p into n log 1 plus 1 upon n or it implies that n log u n upon u n plus 1 less than p and we take this n to the power of this bracket 1 plus 1 upon n by logarithmic property because the coefficient of log goes in the power of this bracket. So, 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power n and in the same way as we have discussed this is a standard limit. If we take limit n tends to infinity both sides, so we may write limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than limit n tends to infinity p log 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power n and so it implies that log limit n tends to infinity log n sorry limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than p log e as we know that this is standard limit that when n, n tends to infinity 1 upon 1 upon uh, 1 plus 1 upon n is to the power n is equal to e. So, it, it becomes log e by applying this limit. So, p log e and log e is always equal to 1. So, ultimately we have limit n tends to infinity n log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than p and since p is less than or equal to 1 for which sigma v n is divergent thus sigma u n is also divergent. So, we have proved that any infinite series sigma u n is convergent if limit n tends to infinity and log u n upon u n plus 1 is greater than 1, but divergent when limit n tends to infinity and log u n upon u n plus 1 is less than 1.